we go in there, the fans start going crazy. He like, you know, this flow is my thing. Calm down. <laughs> Stop this shit. Calm down. So we walk and I'm like, I know this nigga ain't fucking going to pick up this money. What the bodyguards at? Because he normally mm-hmm. got bodyguards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Floyd is a different type of nigga. He already had people there. They already there. In position. So when we get there getting the money, he want me to record him getting his money. A fan come out with his phone. Not knowing, because I seen another dude. He a street dude. So I'm like, oh shit, did we fucking get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I skip into it. We in Dubai. When, and I'm fucking talk about the video when people was like, oh, man, you look uncomfortable. You ain't turn me over in Dubai? Where we at? In Dubai. You in Dubai, man, with the champ, mm-hmm. baby. Big things coming, baby. You can't be stopped. No. You got to understand, when he got off the stage where we was at, he was walking with everybody. It's like yeah. 500 people coming and swarming to get an interview. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Here I am with my camera. I don't know if I can record this or not yet. Yeah. So when he seen me, I put my phone down. He stopped everybody. I said, what the fuck, the fuck you doing? I'm like, I didn't know if I could record. Hell yeah, you can fucking record. Yeah. 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 And that's when he was like, they can't stop us. And that's yeah. why because everybody had their lights on me. So yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. was saying, like, you looked uncomfortable. No, mm-hmm. it wasn't like I was looking uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to be respectful right. and see what I can and can't can do. Yeah, yeah. you you yeah. trading. You trying to figure this out. That's Literally. what you call manners. Yeah, exactly. Man, that's hard. So, um, but with Floyd, it just say day to day, you know, you with Floyd, you walking around. He don't like pictures like that. I know, because they, they tell us at the hotel. They hotels. do that all the time. I seen the nigga. Yeah. But we was at the uh, Palms, like she said, they wasn't, and we weren't trying to take pictures, but I seen them checking other niggas about taking pictures. But, and people will follow him. They'll, you just see like a drone of people that's following. Yeah. He walking and people just following him. Let me tell you a funny story right quick. So we leave his house. He won like 180000 We finna go pick that up. Damn. So we, we, but you know, he got the driver with drivers. It's just me, him, and two of his assistants. So we go in there. The fans started going crazy. He like, you know, this floor is my thing. Calm down. <laughs> Stop this shit. Calm down. So we walk and I'm like, I know this nigga ain't fucking going to pick up this money. What a bodyguard is that? Because he mm-hmm. normally got bodyguards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Floyd is a different type of nigga. He already had people there. They already there. In position. So when we get there getting the money, he want me to record him getting his money. A fan come out with his phone. Not knowing, because I seen another dude. He a street dude. So I'm like. Shit, did we fucking get robbed? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga come up and take the phone from old boy, make him delete the video. Mm. Three three dudes, but they were sitting down. I seen when we come in like they were regular dudes, like they just blend in. Yeah. yeah. But when Floyd got that money in his hand, they were right there on us. Like, nigga, mm. please don't take that picture. You wrong and for the that. Nigga life, Dub, you lead the way. Let's go, champ. Damn. Mm. We walking out, people start screaming, start running up. I like the way how he do that because you don't ever know who he has around man. him because the way how they blend in, you don't know. You ain't touching that. him. You ain't man, touching him. God, man, man, God. I love that. That's, that hey, that's good stuff, man. For you to get, to, for you to be able to be, uh, you know, shown favor like that. I call it favor because yeah. favor ain't fair. Fact. You know, he pick who he want to pick. He could have picked anybody. Mm-hmm. But he see something God done showed him in Bubba Dub. Mm-hmm. And I think that's hard, man. Like, like it's so many people that 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 they got out. You deserve it, nigga. I know you. That's his so word. You the that's type, his you word. You deserve it. That's his bro. word. He tell me, man, you right. deserve this shit, bro. No, I'm serious I, because I'm watching and the way you are, man. You ain't did nobody no injustice. You pure with the comedy, and I'm just being real from my observation. What I see, man, is love. So why not? And because of why how wouldn't humble it be you are. Though? He very and, humble. And you know when I first realized that you were humble. Yeah, this was, yeah, we meet you and you quiet. You're a very quiet person and stuff like that, very observative. But the part that always touched my soul is the first time we came and watched you perform. And that night when I saw you tear up. Here we go. I can't forget that. I'm sorry because not everybody, some people be like, yeah, I did that. Everything is on me. No, on me. You, I did that. that I did, did, did it. But the main fact that you tear it up. It show how much humility you have and how much love you have for, for what people, you do and yeah. for your people. Yeah. And that, that's for me. Some people could see that and not get that from it. No, but that's I what it. I, I got it. from it. But you at know the what end I mean? of the day, and, it, and it's genuine, so it ain't nothing pre-staged. And then we, you know, you got to understand, man, this is something that who would think that 
even me, you know, being where we come from, mm -hmm. who, we would be even put in these situations. Mm -hmm. Like that's the cold part for me. When I when I see it through him, he and he younger than me, so I'm like, hell yeah, you know, what I might not be able to accomplish, this nigga gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got like even you and Peel talk. They, you know, people uh, just tell me like, bro. You got to embrace this shit. This shit don't happen every no, day, bro. Real, bro. This shit don't happen like this mm -hmm. every day. And um. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.